In this video, we're going to learn how to count the number of lowercase letters in a string using C. So if we declare a car array called string, we could store into this car array the string read only memory. And in this string, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 lowercase letters. In order to count the number of lowercase letters in this string, we're going to create a for loop which uses a counter variable to go through each index in the string. To do this, we'll include the string.h library because the string.h library includes a function called strlen, which allows us to find the length of a string. We'll also include the ctype library because the ctype library includes a function called isLower, which will let us know if a character is a lowercase letter or not. So next, we'll find the length of the string using the strlen function. Down here, we'll declare a variable of type int called length. This is going to store the string length. We'll assign to it the string length returned by the string length function strlen after we pass it our string as an argument. So this function is going to return the length of the string, not including the null terminator character at the end of a string. Then what we'll do is make a for loop that's going to go over each index in this string using a counter variable i. So this string has indexes 0, 1, 2, and so on, all the way up to the last index in the string, this lowercase y here, at the index length minus 1. So our for loop is going to have a counter variable i that we initialize to 0. That is the first index in the string here. We'll continue the loop so long as i is less than length. And we'll increment i by 1 with each loop iteration. So i is going to go from 0 to 1 to 2, all the way up to this last index here at the index length minus 1. Then what we'll do is in the for loop body, we'll check to see if the character in the string at the index i is a lowercase letter. To do this, we'll call the isLower function from the ctype library and we'll pass it the character in the string at the index i. Now this function is going to return true if that character is a lowercase letter and otherwise it's going to return false. So then we can have an if statement with the condition being the return value of calling this function. So if the function returns true and the character is a lowercase letter, then we're going to increment a running count of the number of lowercase letters that we found. So before the loop runs, we'll declare and initialize a variable called count of type int to zero, because initially we haven't counted any lowercase letters yet. Then each time we find a lowercase letter, we're going to increment count by one with count plus plus. So this for loop is going to go through each character in the string. And if that character is a lowercase letter, like lowercase e here, then count is going to be incremented. So by the time this loop is done, we'll have counted all the lowercase letters in the string, and we can then output that count. So down here, we'll have printf, and we'll have total lowercase letters colon percent d to output an int value, followed by backslash n for a new line, and then count to output the count. So now if we save compile and run the program, we'll get that we have 11 total lowercase letters, which is correct. Now, one more thing we could do is put this logic inside a function so that we could call the function at different places in our source code. So up here, we'll declare a function. We'll have int because the function is going to return an int value, the number of lowercase letters in a string. We'll call the function count lowercase. And then we'll have a parameter car star string, which is effectively going to be a string parameter. We'll take this here and copy it and then paste it down here. Then we'll cut and paste our logic into this function. So we'll take this up here. We'll cut it and we'll paste it down here. Then we're just going to return the count with return count. Now we'll have to pass this function, the string. So up here, we'll call count lowercase and we'll pass it our string string and we'll store the return value into a variable called count with in count is equal to the return value of calling this function. Now, if we save compile and run the program, 
we'll again get that we have 11 total lowercase letters in the string. So this is how we can count the total number of lowercase letters in a string using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.